Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know about a new study that's going to be made available to you beginning next week. I will be starting a series entitled The Eye of the Needle. And I'm really looking forward to doing this, even though I have to do it in this format, which is extremely uncomfortable for me, but not a surprise to God. So this study was actually birthed several years ago when Pastor Ronnie was teaching. It was a Sunday morning and he was teaching from Matthew. He was talking about the rich man and the kingdom of heaven. And he was sharing about uh, the passage of scripture that says it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. And he began to share, he said, you know, so often we're taught that this is an allegory, that it's just a, a story that we're supposed to glean something from. And he stopped and he turned toward the congregation and he said, no, real camel, real needle, because with God, all things are possible. And me with my warped sense of humor, my inner dialogue um, just responded, yes, with God, all things are possible but it can get really uncomfortable for that camel. And I could just see this little camel being shoved through the eye of the needle and this surprised look on his face and fur being ripped and his face being pulled back. And I just got so tickled and I laughed at the most inappropriate times during that message. I know the people sitting next to me thought something was wrong with me. And that remains to be seen. But anyway, so this study, actually, when I got home that day, it just stayed in my spirit. That imagery stayed with me, and I just began to seek the Lord about what this was about. And he took me on this journey that I never expected to go on, and it had everything to do with how we walk out the difficult seasons in our life and, and how we uh, travel through these times between times. When everything isn't like it was yesterday, but we haven't stepped into tomorrow yet. Where should we stand in our faith? How can we grow in these moments? Anyway, everywhere he took me, I, I, I was just astounded that he addressed pretty much everything we're going through right now. And I feel like now is the time to release it. So on Tuesdays, the video will be uploaded. There will be a PDF file alongside it. It's a study guide that if you want to go with me through the study, you could just fill it out as you go along. They can also become discussion points. I know we have a couple of small groups that are going to take part and who are going to view the video and then come together, uh, whether in a classroom or in their homes or via Zoom or whatever. And they're gonna do the discussion questions together. I think that's wonderful. But I also think it would be wonderful just to sit on the sofa, watch the video, and allow God to speak to you too. He has something to say to us in this time. See, it's my hope that when we come out of this season that we aren't playing catch up, but that we are ready to hit the ground running because we have grown in our faith and we have um, grown in our knowledge of the Lord, that we've grown in relationship with one another. The enemy can't stop what God wants to do in this time. So it's my hope that we'll press in together, listen for his voice, and be changed more and more into his likeness in this time. I look forward to seeing you, sharing this time with you. Let's meet together next Tuesday.